Mazuri is one of the most beautiful regions of Poland and one of the last enclaves of unspoiled nature in Europe. The land of a thousand lakes, this name best reflects the value of the area, which not so long ago was a candidate for the title of the world's new seven wonders of nature. It is an exceptional region in terms of history, culture and religion. Before the Second World War, it belongs to German East Prussia, which was dominated by Lutherans. After the war, the territory was settled with, among others, the Orthodox displaced persons from southern Poland. Today, the dominant religion is Catholicism. With more than 15 denominations, Mazuria is a mosaic of religions. For over 20 years now, we have organized summer camps for children and youth in Gizitska and Vilkase. We teach young people tolerance, mutual trust and openness to other people. We are glad that the residents of Gizitska are open to new ideas. It seems that the mosaic of religions makes them more tolerant and more favorably inclined towards everything that is a little different from their views. It is extremely important that despite some differences of views and opinions, we are close to each other. The atmosphere of this town is contagious. Anyone who once visited Gizitsko will certainly return there. We want to do something to the glory of God and for the best interests of the people. Before the Second World War, one of the fastest growing denominations in East Prussia was the Seventh-day Adventist Church, the origins of which in this area date back to 1892. In this year, Pastor Ludwig Konradi, one of the Adventist pioneers in Europe, distributed by mail a missionary pamphlet entitled From Paradise to Paradise. The pamphlets fell on a fertile ground because already in 1863 there was a group of nearly a hundred people keeping the biblical Sabbath and studying prophecy. However, they have never heard about Adventists. Over the next 50 years, in East Prussia, several thousand people were converted and the largest center of Adventism was Gizitsko. By 1945, in the town and its immediate surroundings, there were 30 churches with more than 800 members. Many of them were committed to the Adventist mission in Africa in the so-called heathen countries. The ravages of war, the effects of scorched earth policy and the redrawing of state borders affected by world powers resulted in a complete change of the social structure of the region. My father was one of the post-war missionaries in the area. As a pastor, he went from village to village, distributing literature and organizing the foundations of the church in Poland. It was neither an easy nor a safe task. Many people did not speak Polish and the new authorities did not particularly like the activities of the church. The new political system not only tried to eradicate all forms of religion, but also persecuted the indigenous people of Missouri, including Seventh-day Adventists. Most of them eventually emigrated to Germany in the 1970s. The church virtually ceased to exist in the area. The political changes in Poland at the end of the 1980s contributed to increasing the evangelistic activity in these areas. Several buildings were purchased for the places of worship and a local radio was launched, bringing the voice of hope to the people of Missouri. Unfortunately, the mission in Gizitsko did not produce the desired results. Thank God, today the situation is different.
A new phase of a dynamic activity of the Church in this city began in 2012, with an intensive evangelistic campaign under the heading Reach for Life, also conducted in subsequent years. The series of all-day meetings in a missionary tent pitched in the city centre were well received by society at large and the local authorities. A lot of attention was drawn by health programs as part of the Health Expo, by family counselling and presentations on proper nutrition. We even had guest speakers from abroad, daily meetings with the participation of various artists and groups were not only an attraction for the locals of Giżycko and thousands of holiday makers from all over Poland, but also an opportunity for them to become interested in the biblical truth. Consistent missionary work in Giżycko produces tangible results and gives a positive outlook on the future. By the grace of God, the mission in Mazuria, in Gizitsko, moves forward. Bible meetings, seminars centered around the Word of God, and recently inaugurated Sabbath worship services allow a group of a dozen or so to get to know God's love and to grow in faith. In the future, we wish to implement the plans in God's power. We are grateful to God for all His blessings, and we look forward to what He prepared for us in this ministry. To God be the glory and thanksgiving. Please, pray for the group in Giżycko and pray for the growth of Adventism in northeastern Poland.